Hi all, this is the König from Canoe, and I'd like to show you the JavaFX Abacus that we're going to build in the JavaFX tutorial. This is going to be the, the end result of our uh, little tutorial. So in an abacus, which is usually built physically from wooden rails and wooden boards that sit on it, is, is a device that you can use for counting and calculation. So this would be the number 1, and you can add 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, sorry, plus 2, and you get 4. The result is always immediately uh, visible in this corner. So this is 4, and you can make it to a 14 on this rail. So balls on this rail mean a 10. This is 14, this is 24. Just like adding, you can also do a subtraction. So 24 minus 2 is 22. 22 minus 20 is only 2. 2 minus 2, 0. So let's start with a higher number. So for example, 137. And let's add 322. 322. The result is 440, uh, sorry, 459. Mm, it gets a little bit more involved as soon as uh, adding up the numbers results in an overflow on the rail. So adding the, the next ball here means this is full and this is 10 balls. And 10 balls means you just uh, mechanically remove all those balls back to the left and add one in the upper rail. And this little um, or software abacus does it automatically. So you can, as soon as I click on this one, you will see that the other one goes to the right, goes to the right, and all the ones below go to the left. Let's remove that, and we start with uh, 459 again, and we're adding um, 62 to it. So we need to add six of those. There are only five. Let's let's add all the five plus another one, which is six. You've seen this one has been added automatically on the upper rail, on the 100 rail. And then 2 again, 1, 2. And the result is 521. This uh, automatic overflow in our little software abacus is, uh, is real handy. It's really handy as, an, as a feature. And you're going to miss it on a physical abacus as soon as you try one. So uh, not only can we do plus and minus, we can also do uh, multiplications. So we have 521, and let's say we'd like to multiply by 3. And multiplication works uh, such that we're adding it three times. And for keeping track of how often we have added this, we, uh, we use the upper rails. So three times, right? This is already one time, so we covered this one. Now we need to add 521 another time. 521. And we've done this. And again, 521. And the result is 1563. You see, it is uh, quite obvious how to do things. So uh, let's move all this back. And not only can we do multiplication, also uh, division. Let's start with a rather big one. Um, 25,553. 25,553, which is the number that we're going to divide. And we we'd like to divide it by 23. 23 is like this one here and this one down below here. Uh, to keep track, or to, to better visualize uh, where we started with this number, I click on this rail and it makes it red. This is this is our baseline. right? 
And we're going to keep track of how often we can remove the 23 from this. So let's start with this 23 here. 23, one time. So on this baseline, we cannot remove 23 anymore. There's, there's no more balls in here, but we can move it on the, on the 10th line, which means uh, we have to keep track also on this line, right? So we, we remove uh, 23 again, and this was like, sorry, 10 times uh, this one. And again, on the upper rail, we can remove now 100 times 23, right? We removed it a we removed it a hundred times automatically, and then again above this one is another times twenty three, which is on the rail above. So twenty five thousand five hundred fifty three divided by twenty three is one thousand one hundred and eleven. Let's remove the markers, and now for a really cool trick here. Um, let's say we would like to multiply 1111 by 1111, by 1111. This is our baseline. So we already added it once here. This is gone. And we now we are adding it uh, 10 times, right, on the 10th rail. 1, 1, 1, 1. Gone. And now we add it 100 times. One, two, three, four. Gone. And now we add it a thousand times. This one. One, two, three, four. And gone. So 1111 times 1111 is 1,234,350. One million two hundred thirty-four thousand three hundred twenty-one. Thanks for watching.